Lithium Australia is working towards creating a circular battery economy and at the same time the company is looking forward to meeting the surging battery demand for the EV industry. The ASX listed company has an outstanding portfolio of technologies to improve the supply and security of energy metals to the battery industry. VSPC, Lithium Australia's 100% owned subsidiary, is engaged in the research and development of the processes for the manufacture of high purity nanoscale materials, including advanced cathode materials. VSPC is advancing next generation cathode powders, including lithium ferrophosphate, to substitute Chinese batteries. LFP is the most stable cobalt and nickel free cathode active material. Let's hear now from John Worsley, VSPC plant manager. Here at VS VSPC we make battery materials, so we're part of the transition to clean en energy, which is very exciting. We take a number of raw materials and we turn it into cathode powders, which is a very important part of the battery because it's where the energy is actually stored. VSPC owns a battery materials pilot plant in Brisbane with a capacity of 1 to 2 TPA LFP. The company has patented its processes, which include three families of patents. The LFP cathode material market is expected to reach 3.3 MT annually by financial year 30 from the current level of 400,000 TPA. Over 99% of current production comes from China. To reduce the strain on the supply chain of LFP batteries and dent the Chinese dominance, VSPC is initially planning to develop a 10,000 TPA LFP cathode manufacturing plant. It aims to start commercial production from 2026 and has already commenced LFP product testing through cell manufacturers and continues further investigations for producing key raw materials to increase cost competitiveness. Another 100% owned subsidiary of Lithium Australia, EnviroStream, is developing a nationwide network of battery collection and processing facilities. EnviroStream is accredited to B-Cycle to operate in this space. Currently, more than 90% of lithium ion batteries end up in landfills. Let's learn more about EnviroStream. EnviroStream can recover and reuse nearly all of every battery it collects, separating out not just the plastics, steel, copper and aluminium, but also, importantly, the energy metals that many contain. EnviroStream specialises in the recycling of lithium-ion batteries, the ones that power all those phones, laptops, tools and electric vehicles, and leads the way in its ability to recover the active components within. That includes lithium, nickel, cobalt and manganese, all of which go towards making new batteries. Ultimately, EnviroStream's recycling technology will not only reduce mankind's global carbon footprint, but also mitigate environmental damage on many fronts. It owns and operates battery processing facilities in Melbourne and plans to expand its operations nationwide to meet the surging demand. The lithium ion battery waste market is growing at a rate of 20% annually and could exceed 100,000 tonnes by 2036. These batteries pose a significant environmental risk as they release toxic chemicals and metals into the environment if not disposed of properly. Estimates show that only 9% of lithium-ion batteries are recycled in Australia today.